Dear brothers, I am Atama. Today with great joy we will begin Book 3 of Telos. Starting today with Chapter 1, it is a very important chapter. Like I said, I'm just bringing messages in relation to what's in the book. I am not going to quote the entire chapter 1 here. I'm just saying that it's a very important chapter. Even those who do not yet have access to the book, when they do, read Chapter 1, but with an open heart, with a very expansive heart. And what is this chapter about? In this chapter we comment on ascension, on the steps necessary for ascension. But I would like to say this, are you all in the same class at school? No. Each of you can be in a class. Some in the more advanced classes, others in the initial classes. So everything that is written in the chapter, that series of guidelines that I gave, is important that they be followed. But what would I say? There are several classes of students, but the test is unique, the test is just one. So each class will do what it is capable of. And no, there is no prize, there is no test score. There are only guidelines. There are only points of attention. Then each class will do the exercise according to what they are prepared for. To do it. Don't try to exceed your own limits. Another question, is it mandatory to do that exercise? So let's once again remember that we don't force you to do anything. Choice is part of their lives. Free will is yours. So we can't force anything. Everything we provide are guidelines, they are small points of attention that you can look at and work on. And if you don't look and if you don't work, what happens? You stop or you can even regress along the way, because as you analyze those points, you can evolve, opening your consciousness, expanding your hearts. But, as I said a moment ago, you have a choice. Nothing is mandatory. But I deeply believe that everyone here is involved in what they are doing. Then you will do everything possible to at least look at those points. But I repeat once again, nothing is mandatory. I must tell you my brothers that the walk will become a little steep in your world, in your dimension. Everything is happening very quickly within the planned speed, and all the responses from those who can test everything will come at the same speed. So now is the time to pay close attention. Now is the time to look, listen, everything with your heart, so that you don't let yourselves be deceived. Everything will seem very real, but much will be just an illusion. So, you need to have self-control, balance. And see things with your heart. Let the heart speak. And if the doubt is too great, don't keep it to yourself. Ask for help from any being of light, and we will immediately show you whether it is true or not. We will not let you remain in doubt, because doubt lowers your vibration. So it cannot be maintained. Always remember this, we are all here. We, the intraterrestrials, the Atlanteans, the beings of light, the ascended masters, the archangels, are all with you. Don't be afraid to ask for help. Don't be afraid to ask. I can't see if this is true, can you help me, and we will help immediately. The important thing is that you look at everything with love, so that the truth reaches your hearts. Fear nothing. Whoever follows the light fears nothing, because they know that even the difficult things along the way are lessons to be learned, and must be received with love, not with fear, not with awe. Follow the flow. Let the light guide your journey. Let the light show the way. Avoid making choices. If the light is in charge, you will not need to make choices because it will clearly show you the path. If there are choices to be made, open your heart, because at this moment you are not allowing the light to lead you, that is why doubt and choice came. Let the light lead you. Follow the flow of the river of loose. Don't try to stop at the bank. Don't try to take shortcuts. Let the river of light lead you, and you will certainly not regret it. This I can guarantee.